video, we are going to talk about Elephas maximus, commonly known as the Asian elephant. So in Sabah, a third of the commercial forest reserves within the central forest of Sabah are in highly degraded condition. These forests are home to the largest elephant population, estimated to 1,122 individuals in 2010. Some of the forest reserves were converted to all palm plantations with electrical fences erected on the boundaries. This obstructs the movement of elephants. Those areas are highly suitable for elephants. So, converting them to oil palm plantations may further increase the human-elephant conflict issues in the area. Humans conducted mass forest conversion to make way for large-scale agriculture programs. This robs the forest from the elephants. The elephants were forced to roam into human-dominated areas to feed on cultivated foods and cash crops. They sometimes damage the food stores, water installation, fences, and occasionally cause fatality to humans. First of all, I would like to give out the point for this issue, such as education. Education are important to the public to avoid the use of goods that made from endangered species so we need to organize a campaign against poaching besides education essential to raise awareness about the importance of conserving natural resource such as such as the use of it for future generation to produce or to make product as well maintaining the habitat of wildlife as elephant moreover controlling wildlife hunting so that wildlife are not threatened by extinction hunting of endangered species must be banned last but not least law enforcement need to be implied such as to impose severe punishment and also by providing regular monitoring especially for endangered species besides do you know that asian elephant possess available body parts such as tusks and skin that has been put the asian elephant into a vulnerable position where the tusks and skin become target for illegal ivory trade to catch up the fashion trend, a new product was introduced in the fashion industry which is accessory made from elephant skin beads. The beautiful color of the elephant skin beads has attracted a lot of fashionista attention and the redder the beads, the more desirable they are. In 2017, the poacher had killed 25 to 40 elephants in southwestern Myanmar for the skin trend. They will go as far as to even kill the female and young elephant. In addition, the elephant tusks are also desired among wealthy and cast several cases of tusk smuggling from Malaysia to neighboring country. Even the wildlife officials in Sabah have classified that only 1,500 to 2,011 survive in this major issue in Sabah. Because of human greed, a lot of ASEAN elephants are killed and make it listed as one of endangered species that need human protection. As we know, Asian elephants are being hunted for almost every day because they have valuable body parts such as ivory or tusks that can be worth more than average annual income for an Asian worker. So here is a few actions that we can take to prevent or stop this kind of issue from happening. So the first step is to make a petition to a local government to stop or restrict any illegal or legal ivory trade. This will encourage them to put more effort to take action on both buyers and also sellers. Next step is to report any illegal wildlife trade. Thanks to the internet, it will be more easier for us to report any illegal wildlife trade if we see any. Lastly, you can also join any organization that against wildlife crime and also aim to trigger the government to stop and restrict any illegal wildlife crime in your country.
From the view of our point where it has been mentioned previously, we can find out that the humans are a major cause of animal trade because of their activities. Hence, we can blame those animals since it was our own fault. In order to overcome this issue, we need to raise awareness to the public about elephant and other endangered animals. The effort involved is not only about educating, yet it also teaches us how to rescue them. Firstly, we should raise children's awareness in protecting wildlife since this effort influences the behavioral changes that arise at a young age. This is because they are more exposed in studying endangered animals either formally or informally, and between the ages of 11 to 12 years, students have a higher tendency to process information more effectively. For example, in Malaysia, education on wildlife is introduced to students at the age of 10 in the science syllabus and knowledge is further enhanced when they are in year 5. Besides, we should establish many conservation centers. With such dust centers, we are able to create a fundraiser to support wildlife programs. Indeed, if dust funds are not increased, Animal restoration plans and strategies will be impossible to implement. Furthermore, the establishment of a conservation center will deter people from participating in poaching. This is because wildlife conservation authorities are charged with carrying out their duties in terms of wildlife protection. With this effort, we are able to keep wildlife from being threatened with extinction.